In this video, I'll teach you how to condense content in mobile for better user experience using overflow order. So in this example website, justicialabs.org, if I scroll down towards the end of the page, we have a section that says meet the team and it has text on the left and team members on the right hand side. So as you can imagine, if this was on mobile, it might be a very, very long scrolling process before the user reaches the next section. So let's go ahead and actually inspect this. And you'll notice that what this site has done is it actually has added that over scroll, sorry, overflow auto scroll bar. So instead of these members being stacked on top of each other, we actually have a scroll bar where the user can actually swipe left and right. So this is a very, very nice way to condense content rather than having a long form scroll. Another example of this would be on the zestyagency.com.au slash membership page. We can see right here on desktop, it looks great to have about eight testimonials in this layout. But if we actually go into mobile view, what this site has done is it has added an overflow auto, meaning these testimonials won't be stacked on top of each other, therefore causing a long scroll. Instead, the user can just swipe left and right to view these testimonials. So let's go ahead and build this in Webflow. All right, guys, so I'm currently on Webflow right now. I just have a grid, a four column grid with a two row layout, and I just have a bunch of information. In this case, it's just people from the Super Mario universe, but you can have different content here. So it doesn't matter what content you have. And right now it's a grid, so let's go back into tablet. You can see right now, maybe it's a bit tight, so we can go ahead and change the column from four to three, and you can see everything is looking pretty good. We can go then to mobile, and you'll notice that this grid is now set to a one column, meaning each of these profiles will be stacked on top of each other. And again, like we discussed earlier, if you don't want the user to have bad user experience, if your goal of your website isn't really to scroll all the way down to read each of these profiles, we can actually go ahead and implement that solution overflow order. So the first step you wanna do is go ahead and select the grid, change it from grid to flex, and this will automatically by default set it to horizontal. Let's go ahead and just reduce the gap to maybe 18 pixels. And we can go ahead and select the team card, or in your case, this will just be whatever div that you have inside your grid, the main div that holds everything together. And we can go ahead and just change this in a, in a couple of ways. One, we can put a fixed pixel unit. So let's just say 260 pixels as a min width. And you'll notice this will always be 260 pixels. So that's one way of doing it. Or the other way, we can make it more responsive and add a percentage unit. So we can add, for example, 85%. That way you can see the card on the right-hand side is almost prompting the user to swipe to the right-hand side. And no matter what screen resolution you're on or responsiveness, it's going to take 85% of the screen. So the next thing we need to do with the team grid selected, we can go ahead and select overflow and add this to auto. And what this will do is this will automatically create a scroll bar at the bottom, allowing the user to swipe across. Keep in mind, this scroll bar sometimes is not visible, especially on iOS devices. So you might want to add another prompt at the top saying swipe across if necessary. But in this case, because we have this card on the right hand side, it's very obvious that the user could swipe across to see more team members. So that is done. Another thing we can also do is we can just add a bit of padding at the bottom. Let's just say 20 pixels to separate the scroll bar and the card. And the next thing we can also do as an optional thing to do is you'll notice that this team card right here is cutting off right here rather than the edge of the screen. And that's because we have a padding right here of 15 pixels. So you may have this in your container or you may have this in your section, depending on how you coded the site. But let's just say we want this to be full width. So in order to do this, I have a section called team circles and it has a padding of 15 pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this to zero pixels, allowing for this scroll to just be full width, which looks much, much nicer. But you may notice, for example, the text above that is now too close to the edge of the screen. So what you wanna do here is you wanna add a new div, let's call it team title. And in this new div, we can go ahead and just add the title as well as the paragraph inside this new div that we created, team title. 
and then we can just manually add that padding in of 15 pixels that way the text won't be touching the screen and from there what we can do is go back into team grid and we can go ahead and just add a padding of 15 pixels to the left and to the right which will space things out even better and you'll notice as i scroll across it's now scrolling full width there's no longer a gap on the left and the right which just makes it look a lot better and all you have to do from here is just hit publish and everything is done so if you check it on your mobile phone you'll notice that it's a lot better so i'm just going to refresh the page right now i'm on the inspect tool on desktop and you'll notice that i can just swipe across and i can also scroll down so this is a much much better way in terms of user experience to just condense content depending on your goals so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next tutorial peace